Good evening. It is Friday, December the 24th. We want to get you caught up on the biggest stories of the day so far. And we begin this evening with one person dead after an officer involved shooting in DeKalb County. Our Zach Summers has the very latest. The DeKalb County police say uh, the man suspected of shoplifting here at the Walmart on Gresham Road. Police still here on the scene uh, hours after that officer involved shooting. Chief Murtha Ramos says the suspect shot at an off-duty police officer inside the store after the officer tried confronting the man. She says he then ran out of the store where he was met by a DeKalb County police officer who shot and killed him after Chief Ramos says the suspect pointed his gun at that officer. A deadly scene centered around the automotive entrance of the store, but at one point all of the entrances to the store were surrounded by police tape as employees and customers were made to wait outside. Once you see the cops are there to come get you, it's over, right? You know when your heart is over, just say, I got caught stealing. Drop the bag, let them take you away. And now that woman, she witnessed the shooting. She says she believes the suspect was shoplifting, but interestingly enough, she says she never saw him with a gun. That man has not been identified. No other officers or customers were injured during the shooting. The GBI is handling the investigation. We're live in DeKalb County, Zach Summers, CBS 46 News. Let's take a live look at Hartsfield Jackson, just one of several airports nationwide where travelers were forced to find backup travel plans. Atlanta-based Delta Airlines canceling more than 150 Christmas Eve flights. The airline had 3,100 flights scheduled for today. Delta said the cancellations are due to winter weather impacts along with the Omicron variant that continues to surge. And United Airlines canceling 170 out of 4,000 flights scheduled for today. CBS 46's Savannah Louie joins us live from Hartsfield Jackson. And Savannah, you spoke with some travelers who had an unwelcome surprise when they got to the airport today. Yeah, a lot of frustration here earlier today. A lot of folks hoping to see family and friends that they haven't seen in a long time. But despite that, take a look behind me. You can see plenty of people here still making their flights. And even through all this stress, they're still managed to be a little holiday spirits. On a day of hugs and holiday cheer. Cancel. Everything's canceled. It's heartbreak at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. It was more than just Christmas. This is books and... Deborah Burris' trip to Africa is one of more than 300 flights from Delta, United, okay. and other carriers canceled Christmas Eve, partially due to the Omicron variant. We're going to celebrate the continent and this is nothing but school supplies for children. This is the, the second year this has happened. Grounded flights hit especially hard for those visiting loved ones, like John Pierre's family, planning to see grandma in Phoenix. Christmas is special, and uh, we, we haven't been out to see them for Christmas for, for a long time. We got here at 9 a.m. We left Jess at Georgia at 4.30. And this couple, who missed their flight admittedly on their own accord. We used the restroom, <laughs> and our, we missed our flight by literally five minutes say they can relate. The next available flight, not for another seven hours. We're in the same boat as, as people over here that got their flights canceled. You know, we feel the same way. We feel for them. But between rebookings and realizations, we will find a way. We got to go. A glimmer of gratitude in the holiday hustle. Maybe it's time for us to, you know, relax. All this traveling is hectic and so much on your stress levels. Now, I want you to keep in mind here, we are talking about a very small fraction of canceled flights here at Hartsfield Jackson, just about 5%, and you can even tell from that board up there just how few there are. Now, Delta warns that more flights could be canceled on Saturday and Sunday. They're advising travelers to check their flight status on their phones and on the app just before they get to the airport. For now, reporting live from Hartsfield Jackson, Savannah Louie, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Savannah. Over the past two weeks, the state has reported just under 43,000 new cases of COVID-19. In that same time period, Cobb County reported 4,900, DeKalb 4,300, but Fulton reported the most in the state with 8,500 new cases. Fulton County officials are now looking ahead as those numbers continue to rise. They held an emergency meeting this morning to talk about what can be done to get ahead of the curve as many of us plan to celebrate Christmas together. CBS 46's Mary Smith reports. 
And the map you see below, orange is the Delta variant and purple is Omicron. Uh, this is one week ago. Omicron accounted for 3% of all cases in the United States. Um, and then one week later, you see purple as Omicron is now the dominant variant in the United States. Concerns continue to mount on Christmas Eve as the Fulton County Board of Commissioners, Board of Health and mayors hold an emergency meeting over COVID-19. As you can see, we are on a bad trajectory. District Health Director Dr. Lynn Paxton made recommendations to Fulton County mayors, including reevaluating large group gatherings, encouraging testing, and recommending masks at all indoor places. I think it's very important that we put, get these mask policies back among both the public and the private sector organizations as soon as possible. And they're closing four county-run senior centers, along with at least a dozen others in neighborhoods. This as Omicron cases continue to rise. Inevitably, we're going to have a spike. I think there's no question with the timing of this variant coming to the U.S. and the holiday season and then how infectious it is. No matter, even if we do all these good mitigation things, um, we're still going to see more cases. The hope is that our hospital systems don't get overwhelmed, and that's really the most important thing. Along with all of these safety measures mentioned, they're continuing to recommend vaccination. In Fulton County, Mary Smith, CBS 46 News. But now the rush is on to get those gifts. Several stores across the metro still filled with shoppers tonight, and time is running out if you want to get those presents under the tree. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons live at Cumberland Mall, where it appears to be super busy there, Barmel shoppers. They only have one hour left to buy their gifts. Listen, we are counting down. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. When I tell you it's packed, it's packed. There's so many people here inside of the mall as well as a full parking lot. When you look around, shoppers are filling this location. Some who missed out on early shipping deadlines, others just procrastinators. According to the mall general manager, he says that safety protocols like wearing your mask, social distancing and security have been maintained as well. One thing I do want to note is we got to talk to some shoppers here at this location. And although it's been packed, they say they've been able to make their way around. Come on over here, guys. How you doing? What's your name? Hey, my name is Amari. Amari. Well, yeah. hi, Amari. Thank you so much for talking to me. So how has your shopping experience been since it's so packed over here? It's been a little hectic. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the lines has been very, very long, but thank God I was able to get a couple of gift cards. <laughs> So you're last minute shopping. You yeah. couldn't have shopped earlier. Unfortunately, I'm last minute shopping, but hey, whatever to make my family happy. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. we hear you, we hear you. What's the biggest, most important thing you would say in regards to keeping everybody safe when they come to the mall? What would you encourage? <laughs> what I'm not doing now, just stay masked up. Um, and if you can, get your vaccine shot. Um, do the best of your ability you can to protect yourself and your family. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Amari. I appreciate that. Now, overall, folks, here's what you need to know for those late minute shoppers who want to get in while they can. As you guys said, you have an hour left. Lennox, Phipps, Cumberland, Greenbrier and Perimeter Mall all are going to be closing at six o'clock tonight. North Lake Mall closing at 7 p.m. and Atlantic Station at 9 p.m. on Christmas Day. Those locations will be closed except for Atlantic Station. Some restaurants and stores will be open. All together, guys, here you got it. We're here at Cumberland Mall. Happy Christmas Eve in Atlanta. I'm Barmel Lyons, CBS 46 News. Barmel, thank you. Developing tonight, shockingly similar deaths. Two bodies found underneath bridges in Atlanta, not far from each other. Tonight, APD is investigating this story and the suspicious deaths. CBS 46's Barmel Lyons heard from investigators this morning. Atlanta police say the deaths happened less than a mile apart from each other. They believe foul play was involved in both cases. What police are hoping is that anyone with information comes forward. If you heard anything, if you saw anything, uh, please contact the Atlanta Police Department's uh, homicide unit. Atlanta police are on the hunt for who could be behind two separate death investigations. We're told the first victim was found back on December 11th. Investigators say they found a man named Jake Shorter, who was found dead under the Central Avenue overpass. Then about two weeks later, police discovered another body in the area. This individual, um, Jake Shorter, uh, was, uh, was found uh, under a bridge 
uh, within a close proximity to the individual which we located yesterday. We're told 43 year old Casey Axum's body was found yesterday morning underneath the Pryor Street Bridge. She was deceased uh, at the point in time at which uh, we located her. Uh, we do suspect foul play as it pertains to this investigation. Police say both victims were likely living in the area. We have ascertained that uh, one of the individuals appears to have been uh, staying at least from time to time under the Pryor Street Bridge, and the other individual appears to um, have been staying under uh, the bridge off of Central Avenue as well. At this point, police say they haven't drawn a connection between the two deaths, but they're saying anyone with information in regards to what they saw or heard could receive up to a $2,000 reward. In Atlanta, I'm Barmel Lyons, CBS 46 News. New video tonight shows a rookie TSA officer saving a choking infant. It was all caught on surveillance cameras at Newark Liberty International Airport this month. The mother of a two month old, she screamed for help when she realized that her baby wasn't breathing. Officer Cecilia Morales sprang into action. She jumped over the luggage conveyor belt, performed the Heimlich maneuver until the baby started breathing again. I performed the Heimlich on him twice. The first time I performed it, I checked him to see if he was breathing. He wasn't. The second time I did it, he responded. And then um, I showed her the baby. She started crying, of course, tears of happiness. Morales was hired by the TSA in October. This had to be just a divine incident here. She hadn't been an EMT mm. for 10 years in northern New Jersey. She knew wow. exactly what to do. Thanks for watching CBS 46 News. Watch us live wherever you are, our mobile and our streaming news app. You can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.